It's an opportunity that I think uh, you know we couldn't pass up on, and the rewards will be very satisfying. Keep getting better and alleviate some of the things that went on today. This is how we could play right here. You know, we got one more game left, and uh, we're going to be winners. We're going to come on top. We've got the program headed in the right direction. Now let's stand together. Let's stand together. Now let's fight together. Now let's fight together. Now let's win together. Now let's win together. Dolphins for life. Dolphins for life. The first year came in, had the guys that you would call the Valley Boys, the original guys that practiced in the Valley. It was just every day, just go down there in, in, in the dust and dirt, and and it was just kids that wanted to play. You know, they, they didn't have a chance to go anywhere else. Um, they played hard, but we did, we just didn't have the players to win games. Dr. Ronsberg, our president, came in. He brought in then the next guy in command, really, as far as athletics, Alan Verlander. And said that this is uh, going to be a focal point for the university for us. And he hired me on and said, hey, we want to change the, the way we do things here. We want to make a commitment to our football program. I think that's where we started changing the culture, started changing the expectation. And um, I think when we, all those things came together, then we were able to um, really establish something pretty special here. Coming in with Coach Bell's vision, we had that vision for the program. We had that vision for uh, a quick turnaround. Yeah, the championship in 08, um, we lost a couple games really early. So it was, it was like, dang, not again. Like, we're going to have a losing season like the year before. But finally winning a conference championship and be able to get a ring and be like, I earned this. You know, this is where the hard work pays off. You know, it would just felt, felt good and felt like a relief, you know, a burden off my shoulders. After getting that championship, we knew like every year we were going to be competing for another championship. And every team was going to want to beat us, so it's made us work that much harder. Really, you have to go back to 08. You have to go back to, to being 3-8 and eight the first year and, and coming and back the second year of the entire program and you know, having a 9-3 and three record and winning the championship. We, we never talked about that my first four years here. We never talked about winning championships, but now every year the goal is to win a championship. We just we just wanted to get a winning season back then. You want to be successful in anything in life that you got to have a passion about it. If you're not passionate about something and really dedicating and determined to, to get it done, then um, you're not going to be very good at it. He's made it where it's cool to be a JU Dolphin. He makes you believe in yourself, believe in the school, believe in the team. Um, you know, he's, he's a great motivator. It lets you know that no matter where you're from or who you are, you still can be able to do anything. During games and during practice, I sort of change into this very intense uh, guy who's very competitive and um, probably go across the line too much a little bit. A lot of people, they, they supposed to think before they talk. Kerwin's the type of person that goes off the top of his head and he'll say something and then realize after he said it that he said it completely wrong. Yeah, I mean, I, I probably use words that's not in the vocabulary, you know. Uh, they always get on me about that. Just all of his speeches are, are surrounded around the same thing. He, he goes, he's happy, 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 and then he escalates, escalates into anger, and then he comes back down to happy, and then he escalates. It's very, it's like a roller coaster every speech he gives. The first 15 minutes, <laughs> You know, I'm into it, but the last 15 minutes, I'm out of it because he's, he can talk. Uh, he, you can tell us he started off saying what he wanted to say, but as he continues to go on with his lengthy speeches, he kind of goes on tangents here and there. He's cussing, cussing, mad, you know, and then he's like, oh, well, you guys play great. But, and then it's just a roller coaster. His speeches as a whole, great speaker. <laughs> To, to see it go from nothing to that is, is unreal, and, and it's, it's really a short amount of time. With all the hard work and all the extra stuff that we've done throughout the four years, and the two championships that we've had has been a great accomplishment, especially last year's 10-1 and team. You know, top 25 overall, you know, put us up on that high pedestal. So to me, I've, my vision is still, I keep, every day I wake up, I think this program will win a national championship. How great would that be for Jacksonville University to be the number one team in the nation? I think we could do that. Thank you.